Welcome to NASA Edge, an inside and outside look at all things NASA. On the show today, we have Henry Wright, who is the project manager for Medley 2. Henry, can you give us some uh, insight as to how Medley 2 performed on the entry, descent, and landing for the Perseverance rover? Well, Franklin, it did fantastic. If you all remember, on the 18th of February, Mars 2020, with the Perseverance rover, did its entry into the atmosphere of Mars. And so Medley 2 was actually the first instrument to complete its data collection and data return than any other ones on the rover. So we're, we're first out the door. Basically, we get turned on about five hours before the entry, and that gives all of our sensors and our electronics time to achieve a steady state temperature. Since some of these things are temperature dependent, you want to make sure all the controlling electronics are at a nice uniform temperature. So, you know, we got data at that point. We got data two or three times during that five hour coast. So everything was looking good. We're all feeling pretty good about stuff. And uh, then of course, during the actual entry time, everybody's sitting back looking at their screens as some of our real time data is coming through and certainly fingers crossed, toes crossed, everybody's anxious, but you know, knowing we did everything we could to make sure it was done right. But uh, we have our data and everything looks really good. Lots of interesting phenomena to go look at, but you know, nothing crazy, but still plenty of good things to look at. Now, as a project manager for Medley 2, what are the next steps for the program? So the whole purpose of Medley 2 is to gather data to help us better understand how Mars 2020 flew, but also to gather data to help improve all of our analytical tools that we use for predicting performance for any EDL mission, be it on Mars or on any other planetary body that has an atmosphere in particular. So our team has taken this data and they're evaluating it. They're looking at how the uh, vehicle aerodynamics have performed. That's one of the areas of uncertainty. We, we know pretty well what the aerodynamics are, but we can improve upon it. That'll help us shrink the footprint of where a rover could actually go. So that helps that. We've already had discussions with the META team, M-E-D-A, which is the weather instrument that's on the rover because they would like to understand what we measured in the high atmosphere to help correlate their model. So we'll be working with them to provide some additional atmospheric reconstruction. And then we have a lot of stuff, a lot of sensors, a lot of measurements to go look at how the hot plasma flow, basically as you fly through the atmosphere, you generate a lot of friction and how that friction interacts with the vehicle. That's why we have to put the insulation on it, the thermal protection system. And so the team is looking at how that thermal protection system responded. And so from that, they can infer or back out what the actual heating was. And again, that goes back to models, but it also goes back to how much insulation did we really need? And what we found on Curiosity and what we're going to find on Perseverance is there's still a fair amount of mass, call it 50 kilograms to maybe 100 kilograms, you know, 200 pounds, that we could take off of, of the vehicle and turn that into something on the science instruments, on the rover, or some extra capability, you know, whatever. So from right now, probably the next six months, the team is just gonna be digging through the data, figuring out what happened, how the models work, and then, and we always have to document it in some form of a paper or a presentation. I know that there are discussions that there will be a, a Mars sample return uh, now, is Medley or is Medley going to be involved in, in that type of mission? Because as you said, you have to get another uh, spacecraft down to the surface of Mars to retrieve any samples or bring astronauts to the surface of Mars. Yes, so uh, our data is used to go into the models, the, the sample return lander, which is that segment of the Mars sample return mission. The whole Mars sample return program is actually three missions. There's Perseverance to go collect the samples. There's a sample return lander to go gather the samples that have been collected and stick it on the ascent vehicle and put it back into orbit. And then there's the transfer vehicle that actually brings the sample back to Earth and then it uses a small entry vehicle to come into Earth. So Medley 2 certainly is in, gonna be involved in, in improving the models that the sample return lander will be using. Whether or not we put instrumentation and sensors on the sample return lander's aeroshell, that's uh, to be determined in, in the future. Well, Henry, thanks for joining us on the show today. We look forward to future updates on Medley 2 and Perseverance. And we, again, thank you for being on the show today. Franklin, it's been a pleasure. Thank you much. I'll talk to you later. You're watching NASA Edge, an inside and outside look at all things NASA.